the sec for the first sub menu. The last item is this one right here. So add a class of sub nav a last. And we're going to apply some more CSS. Here let's add in sub nav a last border bottom is equal to two pixels. And of course it's going to be solid black. And if we go to the top nav links, so here, class top nav a last, border bottom of two pixels, uh, solid and once again black. And if we go back here, currently there is no border bottom here and there's no border right here. If we refresh the page, there's a border bottom here. We have to fix something in our border right. Let's see if we can uh, see what we did wrong top nav a last oh actually it shouldn't be border bottom it should be border right so if we go back here reload the page and there you go we have the border on the very right so that concludes um, making the the actual CSS menu and what we're actually going to do is in order to make it uh, to demonstrate how to actually use this in a HTML file or in a website and to make it something look like this we are going to uh, go ahead and apply some more uh, apply some more changes to the HTML file and add a little bit more CSS. So let's go back to the HTML file, and what we are going to do is wrap everything around a div tag called a container. So div, let's give it an ID of container. Remember, IDs apply to one element and uh, classes apply to more than one element and I'm just going to give this little bump to the right and a second bump because I'm going to include it in a separate div called the navbar div so div id equals navbar close the div here down below And then I'm going to create a, a banner div and then an area for text content. So here I'm going to say div, create another div, id banner, close the div, and then create a div for the main content. So let's say div id text content, close the div. And then we're going to go ahead and add some content. Some uh, I'm going to add some lorem ipsum uh, paragraphs. I'm going to add five actually. So copy and paste one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to uh, use some lorem ipsum text. I'll uh, give you a link to generate your own, own lorem ipsum text, and I'll also give you a link to uh, just a notepad text uh, with lorem ipsum text inside it that I personally use. Um, I just like to copy and paste uh, directly from here so it's easier for me. I already always have it in reach. So the first paragraph, copy and paste. Second paragraph, let's go here, copy and paste. Third paragraph, copy and paste. Fourth paragraph, copy and paste, and last paragraph. Let's go here, copy, and paste. So there you go. If we go back here, that's our uh, basic page without any additional CSS editing, and we're going to basically turn it into this, which is a little bit more organized. How we do that? is we're first going to give a width to our uh, div tag that's our container div tag so that it's going to be fixed positioned uh, fixed width I mean and uh, center aligned so go back to uh, our CSS page and what we're going to do here is we're actually going to create a new CSS so the previous CSS file was called menu.css 
the new one we're going to call uh, page.css. So link, rel, style sheet, type, text CSS, href, CSS, uh, page.css. And let's go create the file. So create a new one. Inside the CSS menu, inside the CSS uh, file, page.css. And uh, let's see what I'm going to do is create some uh, some additional styling. And let's uh, first give the container div a width. So container width of 800 pixels. So let's go back, go back here. So yep, that's 800 pixels. And then let's go ahead and give it a border of um, border right and left of three pixels. So border right, three pixels, solid black. Border left, three pixels, solid black, once again. So if you go back, there you go, we have a border. And we want to uh, align its center. So how you do that is you create a left and right margin of auto. So margin, zero and auto. So zero is for top and bottom. The second one is for left and right. If you go back, there you go. It's centered at the, uh, it's uh, centered. There you go. It's not centered at it, where is it centered? And actually, I'm just going to uh, open some space on the right here so I can demonstrate how to fill the nav bar all blue even when even on parts where there's no actual link. So I'm go, going to go ahead and um, decrease the length, the text length of one of some of the links on the very top. So let's go back to the HTML page. And instead of saying iPod touch, let's just call that iPod. And um, instead of saying uh, iPod Nano long link, let's just call that iPod Nano. So if we go back, there you go. We have some visible space on the right and the menu bar is a lot shorter or thinner. Let's add a little bit more styling to the page. Um, we're going to give the, the very back background, a background of very light uh, blue or cyan. So let's give a background to the HTML tag. Background color of 6BD7EF. If we go back to our page, there you go. We have a very ugly looking background. And we're going to create a white background text for our container div. So background color FFF. If we go back. There you go, the text is slightly more readable. And remember how we put the text, uh, the actual text content in a separate div called the text content. We're going to uh, add some margin to that on the left and right so it doesn't uh, stick right to the borders. So let's create a new property. Text content ID and then we're going to say the width is going to be 740 pixels so there's going to be a 30 uh, pixel margin on the left and the right. So if we go back here, it's all on the right right now, but we're going to give it a margin uh, right of auto and margin left of auto as well. If we go back, it's slightly centered. And we're going to give it a margin top of 20 pixels so it doesn't overlap with the text. 